to. How yeah. long did it take you, well, how many Bostons have you done and how long did it take you <laughs> to well, qualify? this will be my second consecutive Boston. But it awesome. took Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. That's a big deal. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, but it took me about six years to actually qualify for Boston. So wow. many, many times of failing mm -hmm. and not getting, you know, that BQ. And that was really hard for me. Yeah. And, like, people that are friends of mine qualifying for the race and then, like, me never feeling like I was good enough, even though I knew that I could run those times or do those uh, the times in practice, but then executing that race on marathon day, mm -hmm. falling short of, of that BQ the by worst? seconds. Yeah, seconds <laughs> is like the worst. And worse yet, I mean, like the last um, couple of years, two or three years, they um, lowered the um, the qualifying time, so you have to run even faster. So you have to run five minutes faster. You're like barely able to make that BQ time in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now you can run it that much faster. Right. And then they have a new system where, uh, based on your age, okay, you get to go first if you ran like 20 minutes faster than your qualifying time. 15 That's minutes right. faster, 10 minutes yeah. faster. But how did you execute in the end? So you've done it twice. This will be my second, so I'm building up. It's 30 days from now, okay. so right around the corner. Um, so just the building up for the building up for that. Just a lot of um, making sure it's not just the running, but also making sure I'm doing things like strength training. And I really feel like that's one thing that runners neglect. Yes, they think they it's do. run, 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 do yep. miles and miles and miles, and you know that's what leads to injury. Right? Exactly, so I did that exactly. For a long time, and then sort of had that wake up call that I needed to do things in different dimensions and mm -hmm. do things like you know, rowing or spinning and get my cardiovascular system working in mm -hmm. different ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so. also lifting. I mean, uh, yeah, weight yeah, lifting. I mean, you can't just keep doing cardio, cardio, cardio. Right. If you're going to be, you know, a good runner. You have to make sure that you do actual strength training and pick yeah. up some weights. Correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, weights come in handy, especially if you want to increase your speed. People don't realize that, you know, the posterior, posterior chain needs to be developed. And that's where lifting weights comes into play. Now, if you're just someone trying to maintain, um, not trying to race or like, and this is what I tell my recreational runners is you don't really necessarily need weights. You don't, but because your body is a weight. You learn, yeah, how, to, learn weight. how to move your body properly and you'll be good to go. But if you are trying to increase your speed, mm -hmm. like qualifying for Boston, mm -hmm. yeah, you definitely want to learn. But not just lifting weights, you have to learn exercises specific to w what you're doing. Okay, so enough of that. <laughs> um, let's talk about